Hey guys, Kyle Krieger here. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in today. So I am at home, I'm filming during quarantine. Um, hopefully you guys are quarantined too and staying home so we can stop the spread of the coronavirus. Um, I realized that when you stay home, you can't necessarily, you know, get your hair cut. And getting your hair cut is a big part of people feeling good and feeling themselves, and especially in a time of crisis, that's really important. You know, because barbershops and salons are closed, I am gonna walk Taylor through a home haircut. So Taylor has never given a haircut to anyone before, and um, because I'm a hairstylist, I'm gonna hopefully use my experience to walk him through a home haircut, um, and in, in hopes that you guys can take some of these tips and tricks and have someone that you're quarantined with or on your own, um, and try to give yourself a nice little cut to get you through. Okay, let's just start. Yeah. No, that's good. And just kind of do that shape like all the way around. And you can just keep going over it so, you know, like you get all the hairs. The occipital is this right here. Yeah. So try to create a shape around the occipital and then kind of keep it like... Like a V? Yeah, a V is fine. So this is a low recession here. Mm -hmm. This is a high recession. I usually start my line like this. Like here? A little bit, so like it kind of creates... Like there? Yeah, and then you kind of follow that down and around. If you go above the occipital, it'll be easier to fade. I feel like below the occipital is harder. You grab a comb, block off the parietal ridge just to create it easier for you to cut. So the parietal ridge is right here where your head bends. Kind of do an imaginary line, or yeah, where that hair that goes down goes down, and then the hair that goes across. Draw a line with the comb, have it start at the high recession, and now slide, now take out the clip and slide the clip kind of like along the line so you separate the hair. Great. Now that you've separated the hair, we're gonna start on this side first. Now you're gonna grab the clipper again, and now you're gonna get a guard. The big white one? The, big, the biggest guard, yeah. That thing is, yeah, make it long as possible. Okay, so now the main focus is to, we're gonna start buffing out this line. You're gonna make a scooping motion that goes like this, but you're using the longest guard, so it's still gonna be there. We're kind of working on this hair here at the top that we kind of created. You can't mess it up, don't worry. You can just like scoop it out, and then you can just like slowly work your way up. As you're going around the head, stay close to the line no matter where you are in the head. So you want to create a little bit of weight in the back by not going very high. <clears throat> not everyone has like a great head shape. So you want to create weight in the back in the crown. So by doing that, you're scooping like you're scooping out lower it's just so the hair is a little bit longer here. This chunk that we're creating, we're going to um, work on later with uh, scissors, with shears. So that's looking pretty even. Do you want to give them a little peek at what you've been doing? Got our first little faded moment. Nice line. Okay, so you got the clip. Yeah, get the lower guard. Okay, now we start kind of over the line here and you're gonna start to see the line like disappear some, not all the way though. And so just continue to worry about the inch above the line and below the line. Almost use it like a, like a, like a pencil eraser. You're kind of just going over to kind of give them many little hairs as you can because one swipe sometimes doesn't do it. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so let's move on to the next guard down. Smallest, the smallest guard I have. And we're just gonna continue to buff out that line. One small thing is we've already established that we want this to be longer. Because this guard is really short, we wanna try to keep this part as like close to the line as possible. Within a half an inch above and below the line. And you'll start to see it kind of disappear. So now we moved on to shears. <laughs> so place the comb in, uh, in the hair right there. And now, okay. So now flatten the comb against my head yeah. and angle the top out, right? Because this is the shape where I'm going to create graduation right. here like that. Yeah, flat against my head, tilt it out. So you see where, you see, so the hair here obviously be faded. So we want to just like go in there and try to line that up, make it more even. But you don't have to cut it all off, but you know, slowly kind of pick away at it, yeah. And so take it away again. So you see this little bump right here? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we want to straighten out. That's like our goal. To make it go from the fade 
and we want to have it go all the way up. How do you not cut the cold? It takes practice. So if you start, um, can I show you? Are there left-handed and right-handed scissors? Oh, yeah, you're left-handed. This. Yeah, that's better. So you're doing great. But this little piece right here is the issue. I think you already kind of got this to where you need it to be. Mm -hmm. But so we need lower. to work on, yeah, a little bit lower. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, it looks so great. Now create this sort of shape all the way around the head, right? Okay. I feel like it's easier to work from the line up. One thing you should main, you should focus on not doing is pushing your penis against your client. <laughs> this is where I feel like things can go wrong. It's okay. This side. Um, okay, so let me see. Oh yeah, she got a military cut on this side. <laughs> okay, no, 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 it's fine, who cares? Well, how's the back feel? I think the back looks great. Okay, it feels like the length is right at the crown. Okay. And yeah, maybe just work on kind of creating graduation. You know, the shape should, the ideal shape should be like this. Why don't you give the kids at home a little idea of what you're doing back there? Okay. Like it's going up. It's like, like against. Yeah. Basically you should be Control. like sliding. Here, let me show you. You wanna hold the camera real quick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Just kind of like continue. You're moving the shears and the comb together okay. and you're kind of going up like that. But they kind of like ride against, I don't know if you can see. I ride them against like that, you know, just kind of moving up. Okay. Same. It's like takes so much practice, you know, it's like people go to school for this for, and then doing a men's cut is the hardest because there's the least room for error because the hair is so short. Like in school, I didn't learn how to do men's until, I don't know, the end of school. It was always the most scary. No, I mean, I think it looks good. I mean, I just, this little area here, like is the only place, just cause I can see it, but yeah, you can get in there and. All right, so you can put the shears, uh, the clippers and the shears away. Let's bust out the, the blending shears um, with the, yeah, the teeth. Yeah, perfect. I realize not everybody at home is gonna have these. Lucky for me, <laughs> we have these. Um, but if you wanna continue to blend, I usually go back and forth between the clippers and the comb and then also um, the shears and the comb and try to like blend it out. But because I have these teeth, um, these blending shears, he's gonna kinda go over the lines he created and blend them out with these shears that cut out 50% of the hair. And they're used to take out um, weight in hair, but I also use them to blend. Yeah. I like these. Yeah, these are great shears because they give you a lot of room for air. And you can kind of see the, you know, the hair sort started to blend and kind of feel more like a cohesive haircut. And you see this little like chunk right there? Yeah. Those shears will kind of bust out that line a little bit. It's best to use them with the comb just cause it gives you a little extra protection. I mean, look, that looks really straight. All right, so. I feel like it's really easy to keep going higher yeah. to try to make the line. Yeah, no, I know. And then like you just get like a really high. Yeah. That's why I start the line low because I feel like it's easy to keep it going up. So I start the line low here and then that way when I'm um, blending that, you know, I don't end up with a blend all the way at the top. Unless you want that. I mean, it looks great too. Like what you did looks great. All right, kids. So Taylor finished. Good job. I mean, this is Thank really great. Much. I think you really nailed it. If you guys have any questions, comment down below and hopefully you nailed it. If you want to follow Taylor's new haircutting career. Let me know if you need a, a snack. <laughs> okay, bye guys. Bye.